Oh. Let's just do a little update here. Share the stream. Where are we? There we are. Hopefully the sound is okay. Let me know if it isn't. Let's go. Oh, there you go. Good evening to y'all. Good morning to some of y'all. Uh, details. I'll share the link. Okay. I'll be back in about five seconds. Okay, now I'm back. Epic tunes. It's not about the tunes today. It's about the quick day today. Sounds good. Ohio. Do you know some more? Quiet. I sound beautiful. It says one watching. That's untrue. That's that's at least one watching. Let me listen to myself. Maybe it's okay. It can be a bit higher, no? It could be a bit higher. My voice is pretty high enough. I think it's the best I can do. Sounds like Minecraft music. Thank you. I will not send you a picture of a snake near a blue tree moon rabbit. Around the nine here, but yeah, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good evening. Good afternoon. <laughs> when is part 63? Not yet. In about three weeks, I, I think, hopefully. Uh, keeping to my once a month schedule. Quick stop a moment. Yep. 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 Okay. So, in case you don't know, I'm fiending for that Antarctica dock. That's right. My Antarctica dock is coming along nicely. I'm pretty happy with the way it's going. Um... I did make the song, yeah. This is from the soundtrack from for my upcoming doc on my documentary channel, which will be G Gino Samuel 3. Link is in the description below. It's about the Antarctic expedition of the Terra Nova from 1910 to 1913. Amazing tale. It's going to be like a four or five hour long video. Please check it out once it drops. Please subscribe and uh, see anything that you see. Up there on that channel already, I got some stuff about uh, Japanese monsters and uh, one about music censorship as well. And I believe there's going to be at least one more before the Antarctica dock drops. Uh, hopefully an expose around North Sentinel Island. So please check it out. Uh, Mancan H, how are you? <laughs> gay? Who is gay? How many episodes? There will be one episode, one four and a half hour episode. <laughs> Did police ever contact you? No, obviously not. Why would they? I'm in Japan. I have no business with Chris. Where will the Christian docu series be streaming? Uh, watch it on YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh. So anyway, I'm going to give you another minute or so, and then we're going to head straight into the quick stream, the chill quick stream. This is part three. Evening from Ireland. It's a good night from Ireland, no? Welcome, everyone. How tall I am? I'm tall enough. Um, no, there's one cup of coffee, one cup of milk tea. I think the series will go on for another 69 episodes. Maybe. Can I speak Japanese? I really cannot speak Japanese, actually. But anyway, let's go to... to my second monitor, and we'll get into the chill quick stream one more time. Which is, of course, us looking through the chronological tale of Christian YouTube videos in a hopefully chillaxed fashion. Let me find my own channel. Keep the great work. Do you know real perseverance to keep going for all these years, even with the arrest and stuff? Saying hello. Thank you so much, Cameron. I'm 6'11. Yeah, something like that. Now let me find my s stream. Okay. Now I got the chat, chat up and running. So now I can head over to the playlist, which we'll be viewing now. 
Paul Dano is looking Chris. That's actually pretty good. Okay, let's head on over. Let's fade this out for a little bit. Boom. Okay, so now let's go. Hopefully the audio will be fine this time. Hopefully it will be fine. So let's head over to this playlist. Stream not interview. Oh, huh? Opinions on Japan, urban architecture. It's all right. <laughs> I have no opinion on many things because I just don't get involved in, in the wider society, really. So I believe I have sound. I believe I have sound. Okay, that's fine. So this is where we left off, I believe. This is the Chronicles of Christian, the Fangs of Doom, uh, January 8th, 2009. So I'm following along the Christian Western Channel Christian playlist by Zeus Helios Megistos. Where am I from? Guess. <laughs> so this is pretty early on. It's around maybe part six of the doc, maybe part seven. There around. And this is an 809 video playlist where... We're currently at the at the Greg Mays saga. So let's see what Chris is upset about now. There's a there's some there's some misconceptions regarding this this video and this saga, so I'm gonna clear those up if if possible. Chapter's okay. log, January eighth, two thousand nine. SPSI is a bit uh, glitchy. Ladies and gentlemen of the Sanchi fan base, unfortunately due to uh a troll having uh, found access to the uh, database behind Sanchi.net. It is temporarily shut down and uh, I cannot change the password at the moment. But uh, apparently the uh, guy said that uh, he can't, re it can't fix it, so pretty much forced him to do it. So, you know, Greg Mays, Greg Mays at gmail.com with three G's. In, the, in Greg. the Greg. So Greg Mays, this troll who was played by the same person who played the Clyde Cash troll later on. Um, so he basically convinced Chris that Nintendo is working on a Sonic 2 game or something. And for this reason, he needed the administrative access to Chris's own Sonic 2 website. And as a consequence, Chris lost... <laughs> Chris lost uh, access to the website, changed the passwords and stuff like that. So that's the that's the culprit, Greg Mays. Um, one thing is that Greg Mays and Clyde Cash and all those were also played were were played by the same person who also played the role of I can't remember his name, but I think it's Jay Zilberstein, Jason Zilberstein, Jack Zilberstein, something like that. And anyway, this is was a this was a lawyer working for Nintendo, allegedly, by the communications through emails. And Jay Zilberstein used to always went with the nickname because Zilberstein is a bit too difficult to say. Um, he went with the nickname with of his initials, J-Z. So this is where the misconception comes, where... <clears throat> Where people think that the rapper Jay Z was the was the lawyer for Nintendo, it it wasn't. I mean, very sure that Chris has no idea who Jay Jay Z is as a rapper. Why would he? Be? Because like he's a he's a contemporary rapper and he's a black male. Like why would Chris care about that? So, um, I I believe the Clyde Cash guy believed that Chris would mention Jay Z in the video, and it would be funny when Jay when Jay Z is mentioned. Everyone would think that it's the rapper Jay Z, but it's not actually. It's the initials uh, J. -Z. If you do not re-upload Sciencey.net, that's the way it was before you even started. I will come down at you with my boys from Nintendo and my big and my lawyer man from the and my lawyer man from Nintendo Jay Z. There you go. You gotta come down with his boys from Nintendo and the boys at Sega. They gotta rain. They gotta track There's it so down. So many boys. We're gonna punish you for what you did if you don't bring that bring my website back up to the way it was. Jay Z, if you were the one to trolls that wanted to respond, you're getting it. So just listen to me, you jerk. Re upload it. Or we're gonna Who's rain the heckle now? on you because I'm not afraid to <laughs> show my fangs. It kinda looks like my scrum from from that up close. Uh did you say heckle? Rain heckle on you? Go on you, because I'm not. Just listen to me, you jerk. Heckle, didn't he? Re-upload it, 
or we're gonna rain heckle on you, because I'm not afraid to show my fangs. That's just my scrim, no? I want to know my scrim. Mar Markiplier's best best bud. It just looks just like him. But I digress. Peace and love to all the rest of the all the rest of the loyal Sachi and Rose Pants. Peace and love, though. Thank you for your patience. Oh, oh. I. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think this is where the the Clyde Cash thing really kicks off. So basically, or was it Clyde Cash? Was Clyde Cash re responsible for this one, or was it still Greg Mays? What? Maybe it was Greg Mays. I can't remember. Anyway, Chris is trying to convince people that he's straight. Chris and Chandler am straight. Don't you forget it. There you go. Because it's enough. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> the denouncing. The denouncing of the. Why is this video so dark? The the denouncement of the E. D. Christian webpage. The Encyclopedia Dramatica. Christian webpage. Hello. I record this message in, res in response to the Encyclopedia Dramatica page that has so been dark. against me since November a couple of years ago. I he I am hereby making it official and making a statement that every detail, the majority of the, the majority to every single detail mm -hmm. on that heinous page against me is all a pack of lies, a bunch of slanders, twists of my own actual words and drawings and such. Was this already after Chris enacted his information overload? So I believe that most of the information would be correct. Or would they twist the added information even more? Hmm. For the for the trolls hmm. slash internet bullies own evil purposes. My favorite kind of my favorite kind of cheese is cheddar. To actually but to actually best understand me I am a good person. Hmm. I'm a good person. I'm good natured. But I will show my fangs when I have to. Is it just only when I have to. Just cause the cause the window's open, I just can't see Chris's face at all. Jesus. Was this was this video always this dark? And I'm showing my fangs right now against that page. Especially when I could and it could be easily proven from among Every single gal pal and acquaintance I've ever mm. had in my life in person, right? Or a few over the, or some over the internet who are true, who actually, who were, who they were, the true loyal people on the internet who do not lie. And that includes my sweetheart Sarah Cassandra McKenzie. Oh, panda. And all the women on the Sanchi Girls Forum. Sanchi Girls Forum, which was of course. I believe, made by Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, which was a all obviously a fake form consisting of trolls pretending pretend to be female fans of of Chris and Sonic Jew. Um, the trolls back then, once they discovered the whole backstory behind Sarah Hammer and how much Chris was in love with Sarah, and the comic that he drew for Sarah way back way, like every every female troll be basically just became a Sarah. A Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, a Sarah May, Sarah Jackson, and um, there might be others. And everyone, and uh, in real life, the people in my church's congregation, including mm. my uh, pastor and my pastoral counselor, counselor who I see on a weekly basis, just to uh, talk and shoot some, and just uh, what talk what? to uh, talk and shoot some. And just uh shoot some shit <laughs> uh, talk and let's dress out with uh with an open ear and an open heart and open understanding and i appreciate that because it makes me feel better understood hey trip how are you just like the girls on the son on the science girls forum have met have proven themselves to be true because they actually understand me and my would Chris have a chance with Sarah if he took up magic? Because if you don't know, Sarah Hammer uh, ended up hooking up with Wes Eisley. Not Moss Eisley, but Wes Eisley, who was a magician. Who was like a, he, he performed for Penn & Teller as well. And yeah, ma magicians are actually not uncommon in Chris's life. 
Uh, in case you don't know, there's some recent lore revealed regarding uh, Barbara's past before before Bob Chandler. Um, this was back when Cole was still a child, maybe a, a teenager, and still lived with Barbara and her husband at the time. Uh, something Harmon, Jerry Harmon, I believe, who was actually free, uh, Freemason and also a magician. <laughs> And in their in their sp in their s spare time, maybe on a yearly basis, um, Jerry Harmon, Barbara Chandler, I mean Barbara Harmon, I guess, and Cole, Cole Smithy, Chris's half brother, would team up and form a magic act called King Karnak with Bar Barbie and Cole, and they would perform magic acts um, for mental institutions. Including Western States General Hospital or Western State Hospital, Western State, I believe, which is the institution where many people believe Christine is at right now. It's not confirmed, obviously. We can't confirm that, but it's likely that it's this exact same institution. <laughs> I'm reading chat occasionally. Yes. What I, what I mean, in my honest words, without any of the slanderous twists and turns those evil trolls have done and put on that slanderous page on Encyclopedia It's Dramatica. not a joke. No, no, this, no, this is real. This is, <laughs> this is real. There's, um, it was posted on the, on the Kiwi farms and they found newspaper clippings and articles, uh, featuring a, a very, um, <clears throat> gammy looking Barbara. So I'm making it official. Nobody will be allowed Forever able to use anything on that page, that Encyclopedia Dramatica page, with the name Chris Chan or some or something similar along the lines of running to Christian Weston Chandler or Christopher Weston Chandler, or hmm. even Christopher Christian Weston Chandler for Christian Christopher Weston Chandler. So we got all the names out of the way. Among those names, because I am making it official. I denounce everything on that page, and I advise nobody to even think about clicking on the link, even though it appears in a Google search. Hmm. I denounce everything on that Encyclopedia Dramatica page. Some, and someone in the chat is really high. Please on the whole Encyclopedia Dramatica website. Thanks for enjoying, but please take care of yourselves. And also. To throw a little, at the risk of throwing wood into the fire. Uh oh. I will oh. off. I give that website and everybody, every single troll who has contributed to that page and the website, to go against not only me, hmm. but all the innocent victims they have pro they have portrayed against, including the uh, worst troll of them all, 4chan. Oh. I curse y'all to bad luck and extreme misfortune. Damn it. Shin ye ha me ha. I can feel that. Peace. Captain's. Christian, call Christian calls 411. I don't remember this video at, at, the, at the moment, so we'll see what this is about. Anyway, that was a typical. Um, any tips on learning Japanese? You, you shouldn't ask me because I'm. I'm not very good. Anyway, yes, so that was a blog start date. Let's see what this video January is. January 16th, 2009. I'll be brief because I only have one news, one of four news of interest. That bastard, Jason Kendrick Howe, the. Uh, oh, I, rem I remember this. <laughs> I just love how, how focused Chris got before he said that, like, just containing his uh, rage. 2009. I'll be Deep brief breath because and close I only eyes. have one news, one of four news of interest. That, that bastard, bastard Jason, Jason Kendrick, Kendrick Howe, Howe, the uh, person, the uh, guy who did who originally started the uh, Psychopedia Dramatic pe Dramatica page, hacked my uh, tripod account the first time, and even and after uh, recovering the password and full capability of the tripod account, he just had to do it again. So therefore, I have uh, created a new tripod account, and I am. Didn't you forget a video in parts? 
12. Yes, I did forget a video in part 12. That's right. Um, I can't go back and change it now. Sorry. <laughs> but yes, I did, I did forget a video in part 12, which was the uh, the audition tape for Vanessa Hudgens, in which Chris ask, ac acts out various scenarios for Vanessa's amusement and uh, just to convince everyone that he's a capable actor to play alongside Vanessa. I completely missed that video. I'm currently denouncing the uh, Sonichu.net name. So in, off so in the future, from this point on, it's Sonichu.info. Info. Change the website. So update your bookmarks and... That's update your bookmarks. Sorry with it. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. Chris texted Gino many times. Anyway, this is... <laughs> There we go. This is a classic. <laughs> so we're 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 back. We're back to Nintendo, and this is the classic Miyamoto saga, which of course Miyamoto and Reggie, via emails, were both played by the same actor, the same troll, who later became known as Clyde Cash. So he was like very instrumental in Chris's earliest sagas in early two thousand nine. Uh, in case you missed it, like last week. Nintendo, um, Nintendo tweeted a message from Mr. Miyamoto, and <laughs> and he began the message with, after consulting with Chris Son and you know, regarding the the Mario br movie, uh, Chris Chan became a trend on Twitter because everyone misread Chris Son as Chris Chan. <laughs> Everyone thought that Miyamoto was talking about Chris Chan suddenly. And uh, yeah, to call back to this. Anyway, let's enjoy Ohio Mr. Miyamoto san. Ohio Mr. Miyamoto san. I, I have decided to uh, do this video standing up as I felt it more appropriate. And bow like a woman. So that I could also allow myself to bow for your presence and such. Anyway, I have checked my uh, email account. No trolls have sent any any slanderous emails or any emails or nobody has hacked my AOL account of Chris Chan Sonich at AOL.com. So I don't plan on continuing contact with Chris. No. If Chris contacts me, that's a different thing, but I don't I've never sought out Chris's contact. It was always the opposite way around. You had so you're still talking to the real Christian Weston Chandler. If you take off the glasses is is the real guy. <sighs> And also, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like an inverse Clark Kent. You know, if you take off his glasses, like, oh, it's Chris. Oh, I sent you a nerd. Yeah. Also, I could also further prove it. My driver's license. There's some casual dogs in right there. I cover my uh, number on there. But if you look closely enough, you can, if you look at in one point of view, you can see the uh, Virginia. I see the state numbers on there. No, it's the Sonic Medallion in the driver's the license photo. Logo on there. I don't know. And also, Ian. Mr. Miyamoto, my Wii remote in Nunchuck. We, we would, would like, like to play. play. To quote the commercial in an honorable way, I may. So, Mr. Miyamoto, please, uh,. Do not, it do not disrespect, do not, uh, it do not, uh, quote me as, uh, Front and back. the troll because Sickness. I am the real deal. Believe me. I mean, although I guess I do deserve it upon retrospect since I, uh, <sighs> made the, uh, accusation myself. So hopefully we can set this, set this minor business, as minor, I didn't notice Chris's nails. bad business aside. I continue okay? on for good Quick. business, and hopefully I will be able to uh, meet with you in Redmond as soon as possible. Redmond. I'll be talking to my church congregation tomorrow. Um, I'm not. I'm not familiar with with the city in Washington State. Is it Redmond or Redmond, or are both acceptable? And uh, I wish you a pleasant day, Miyamoto san. Sayonara for now. January <laughs> Jesus Man, I didn't know the PSI uh, came with an inbuilt YouTube poop feature. Let's just let's just uh, start that up again and brace ourselves.
on January 18th, 2009. Here's another brief update. For those of you who have, who have actually received... This is actually like one of the first times that we've ever seen Chris's face so clearly up up, up against the PSI. Um, the emails that possibly came from my AOL account. Troll, another troll has hacked into my AOL account yesterday and uh, spammed the emails around. I had uh, closed the account temporarily. And I am currently uh, without the email address. So therefore, uh, just, just, to just to let everybody in my fan base and on the internet know, I'm still, I am straight. Damn. I am straight. And no troll, no slanderous troll is going to alter me in such a way. I'm straight. Straight. straight? Believe, believe me. me. <laughs> I, have I have a, a subscription, subscription to, to Playboy. Playboy. I mean, Chris could just be reading the articles. You don't need to be looking at the naked latest to have a subscription to Playboy, honestly. You can just skip those. Oh, Jesus, I just noticed his eyes. <clears throat> anyway, so this was, um, I believe Chris's email got hacked, maybe. And then on, on behalf of Chris, pro possibly Clyde Cash sent an email to another one of Clyde Cash's personas, like maybe Miyamoto-san, saying that, I'm gay. I've always been gay. Stuff like that. And look into my and look at my eyes. I'm looking. My face. I can't be more serious than how I am right now. Looks right. Those damn slanderous trolls. Looks right. <laughs> damn them all to the hell. hell. And the nerd. Oh. Oh yes. The uh, stepping on the vibrator. And you slanderous trolls. You can kiss my foot. And you know what else? Else. That'll show. And don't you forget it. How about the rest of y'all, the true good citizens? Peace and have a good day. Well, that was a great ed <laughs> that was a great editing, wasn't it? Uh man. Again, another great example of how early Chris was so creative sometimes. Never again. So let's go on to this one. I'm addressing this video yeah, I think this to is about Clyde uh, Cash. Ryan older Cash, brother of Ryan, mm. who, uh, who sadly commits, committed suicide upon himself when I... Footnote! Oh shit! <laughs> You're right. It is a footnote. Made the idle threat to... Uh, Stop my to stop doing my comics in the protest of the Encyclopedia Germanica page. Clyde, I'm sorry your brother died. Well, that doesn't mean you have to go hmm. picking on me for the cause of his death because I did not do it. I did not do it personally to him, and I did not mean to do it. I'm just an I'm just an innocent bystander in all this. Hmm. Even though I probably gave him a reason. I'm sorry. You don't have to do anything mean. I mean, what clock? What? Did I say he stomps on an unused vibrator? Where Where did I get that from? Was it maybe from the quickie? Possibly from the quickie. Anyway, we can we cannot confirm or deny that the vibrator was used or unused. Clyde, would Ryan want you to go? Kill, would Ryan want you to go doing anything stupid as? Torturing other people or even go as far as killing them You don't have to do this. Just mm -hmm. live on your life and move on You find yourself a girlfriend And she'll make you about as, she'll make you happier than possibly Oh, well Ryan could have done it. Damn. You don't have to go off killing people That's Clyde's Claim to kill someone already? <laughs> I'm really not sure about this. Anyway. So yes, again, this is an, another uh, interesting example of how Chris, for lack of a better word, can't really um, put himself into other, other people's situations because, I mean, it's not necessarily a Chris thing. It, it's also an, it could be an autism thing as well. 
especially considering that Chris never really received treatment for the for his autism for his for his autism. So he has like um an inability to to see uh, sit situations from other people's points of view. Like the only thing that Chris can relate to is is his dog Patty dying, and then and that's all he he can compare it with. And it's 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 not necessarily a a Chris being an asshole thing. It's just like he just doesn't know and never never really got a handle of uh, of how to communicate with people in uh, I guess a more empathetic way. You don't have to harm this anybody before, blues emotionally or physically. Just take some deep breaths, have some time to yourself. Maybe find yourself uh, was, find yourself a counselor at your local church that you can talk to. See again, that that the only kind of counselor that Chris has knowledge of is the church counselor, Rocky Shoemaker. So then Chris can't compare it with anything else like a psychiatrist or something like that. No, it has to be a church counselor. And uh, hopefully you'll feel better. I mean, I feel for you, man. I mean, I've had people die on, die on me some t t a few times before, and I went to their funerals. But yeah, I didn't want to, I did not want to go off torturing or killing anybody in response. Hmm. I just basically weighed out from my sad emotions to uh, we can see eventually fade testing. away, and you know I did get there. But I mean, my dog died. Mm. I was sad. Mm. I cried for weeks, but yet I got over it. I saw my I saw Patty in my dreams, mm. and she reassured me that things were that she was okay. And that God is taking good care of her. And with that, I'm, I was able to move on. Live my life a little bit more happier and more luckily. It's been, been over a year, been over two years now since she died. Hmm. Clyde, you do not have to do anything rash or drastic. Just move on. You'll find a lot of other things that make you about as or greater than happy as you were with uh, Ryan around. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Another aspect you might um, gather about um, about Chris's personality or Chris's condition is that you can see from his words here is that he believes that people around you um, basically <clears throat> basically are to serve you and to provide you with happiness, you know, it's not like about um, having people around you to love and care for, and and vice versa, uh, and just just have companions around, um, just have have people in your life that you love genuinely. It's it's not about what you feel for them; it's about what they what they can do for you. And this is why uh, Chris is suggesting re replacements for Ryan Cash, for example, a girlfriend, you know. It's about, it's about, um, it's the, it's the self centeredness isn't it? It's talking now. Just take it one day at a time. One moment at a time. You'll get over it. Peace, man. Peace, man. Pokemon. Anyway. January 21st, 2009 update. I just wanted to, uh, let y'all know, let y'all know in this update that, uh, in addition to my previous uh, denouncing of the ScienceU.net, mm -hmm. I'm also I am also I have also denounced ScienceU.info since that got hacked into earlier this week back on back about uh, on the around the or on around the 18th of January. So as of the 18th, I've denounced ScienceU.info. The denouncing but I continues. I promise every one of you. My but by the way, does anyone know what this thing is? This glowing orb. I'm, it's probably something to do with gaming. I really don't know, but anyway. Loyal, true science you fans. Wait, is this the, is this the first video from this angle? I believe it might be. I don't remember this angle before, but anyway, this is the, the, the classic angle, which so many classic videos came from, from this space right here. Uh, that's the, that's the room to Chris. That's the door to Chris's room right there. That's where, where Bob came out of. 
Um, you can still see some remnants of the Megan Shrine over here. I uh, got some game gazers over here. I believe the attraction sign is taped to the door way over here. The uh, sign, shoot girls. And while I respect PlayStation Wii things, men in general, I hate the homos. Hate I the actually homos. do have a past story. As I have realized from repressed memories back from the Green County days. But I will not go further than that because y'all would have a field day. Someone mentioned this. Was this on Twitter or a YouTube comment or or Reddit? Like Chris hinted on this this homosexual experience before. Like in I believe Chris wrote about this in his website or on the ED page as well. Like some homosexual experience in Green County Elementary School. And I'm not sure if this is related to the whole pinning down thing. Did Chris get assaulted? I really don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know if we'll ever know right now, but it's 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 amazing that Chris has never really spoken that much about this. He might have been molested. I really don't know. And trying to twist it to your own evil way, so. I'm straight and nothing is going to change that. But now getting back to the issue at hand of science. Talking the science about the principal, yeah. He's, he said that the the principal touched him in inappropriate ways. Some, something like that, yeah. Really weird. Is, is this the real reason why Chris and Bob moved away? And nothing to do with the autism. Maybe it's partly to do with the autism. Sure. A brand new Sonichu.com. Holy shit. It'll be the official Sonichu site. You got the com. So, hey, so keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Speculation can get you banned. I'm just speculating right here, but I really don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there. I cannot say anything. Peace. <laughs> there you go. Okay. At this log, start date, January 31st, 2009. I direct this video to uh, Mr. Shiguro Miyamoto and Mr. Close. Reggie Field Imes of uh, Nintendo Japan and Nintendo America, respectively. I respectfully retract the uh, previous video I uploaded, and I wish to apologize humbly for it. You see, I uh, made the outburst like that because, uh, well, I just wanted you, I wanted you both, I wanted uh, Mr. Miyamoto at least mm. to uh, be able to, you know, make himself, present himself personally, or at least to uh, send uh, you all got the money. something in the snail mm. mail to prove that I have been talking to the real man himself. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is a phrase that he got from Bob, snail mail. Used it a lot back then back here to my family because you know my mommy and daddy well they still well they love me and care about me very much uh mommy and daddy. well they they do care about me and they care about my health and safety and you just uh get concerned when i talk to other people on the internet and they not sure about snail mail means mail <laughs> snail because um, the U.S. Postal Service is slow, hence snail mail. Uh, who they are? Or mail snail. I don't Plus know. the uh, emails you sent me came As from uh, female snail. mail dot com, so that led to uh, one assumption. And uh, pardon me there. I apologize for uh, that misconception, misunderstanding, and then I also uh, received that message from. Then later received a message from uh, anyway.nintendo.com that do not reply thing, verifying the email address and uh, business and all that eventually and all, and all that sort. Anyway, um, still I wish I could tell nights. you why I'm still living with my parents, but you know I can't really give a viable reason. But I guess uh, you know if anything, a good reason. It's just. Uh, well, my autism, hmm. it gets me in, it gets me stuck in the in the routines, and even though I'm even though I'm willing to break out of routines, 
It's just I feel I feel more comfortable at uh, home, and also I just could not, uh, and also I just could not afford to make the trip in the first place. I mean, granted. I don't know cardio. Yes, I do need to get things ordered in my life, mm. but you know I am willing to save up the money for me and my uh, mother or my sweetheart or my attorney to uh, make a trip to Redmond. His attorney. In a few months. You mean Daisy. So, you know. I never substituting with future. Please that was thing. do not cancel the project totally. I mean, like you know, uncancel it. I just, you know, just shelve it. You know, Uncancel go ahead and pigeonhole me. I'll, uh, it as long as uh, you can take it off the uh, shelf space there, so I can, so we can open it up at the time when I am ready to uh, start the science you game thing. Because as you can tell from uh, my energy I have, I have given, I am very ambitious about the project, hmm. and honestly, I am. I'm a, I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy, and, and you know, you know, yeah. So anyway, again, that ED page, Mr. Miyamoto, it's a it's a whole bunch of slanders and lies, and uh, and and my fan base, and my family, and my and my local friends, and my church's congregation. It's on YouTube. Well, I'll tell you the same thing. So, uh, please. Reggie Shigeru san or Miyamoto san. Uh, I'm not sure which one at this point because I heard both ways at this point. You did? I, I guess it's possible. Anyway, yeah, sure. Please, uncancel the project and just put it on a shelf for me to, so I can be able to graciously accept it when I am right fully there. capable of making Miyamoto. the trip to Redmond and talking to y'all about it. Redmond Peacemon. I would appreciate that. And uh, and as you can tell, I would have deleted the video after I have up, after I have uploaded this one. So uh, <clears throat> and if y'all can, I mean, y'all have the money. Y'all should money. be able to, uh, you know, find some free time in your schedules. You know. Come and visit some of your actual par partial or full business associates in their homes, and that's and uh, so like, you know meet their families, simple. and it's like you know then their families can actually take full faith in the business that they're that the person that's actually doing the business in that family, then the rest of the family can take full belief and be proud of that, be more proud of that person, and also. Uh, Show more respect for uh, you personally. I mean, I showed y'all respect. This is Riddler, no. But then, uh, all well, this happened, so hopefully uh, we just put all this behind us and start fresh hmm. on a good note. All right? right. So, peace. A good thing. Peace. Both parts enough. Anyway, I'm gonna be skipping all these mumbles. We don't need we don't need to listen to the mumbles. Anyway, mumble one, two, three. Uh I believe Clyde Cash appears here. So yeah, we're we're not gonna subject ourselves to three hours of mumble chats. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna stick with the videos. So this is the original. This is the original um Christian comes out of the closet video, which Clyde Cash forced Chris to do, uh, convincing, trying to convince his fans that he is gay, but leaving subtle hints here and there, <laughs> uh, such as the um, the is that is that the Sailor Moon poster in the back, featuring a prepubescent character, and uh, the and Optimus Prime, which is a symbol of masculinity. So let's see. This is such bad. This is. Can we up the quality? 240p? I don't believe you. Let's go to 144p. No change at all. Let's go. Because because this was deleted. You know, if this was, like, this is a copy of a copy. <laughs> so this is why it's such bad quality. I mean, the original is um, 240p anyway. Probably max from the PSI. Actually, it's just slightly better. 
into 40p. Let's go. Hello. You know the word gay tends to be thrown around a lot. Let's Especially the when uh, one's words is, that one? is uh, heavily understood one way or understood another way. It can mean so much. But oh, and also no sound of medallion. Uh, in the end, this is not genuine. It Chris. can make a lot of difference. I uh, personally respect the uh, hey, Japan, the... And Japan, the... gay population, huh? and uh, I implore them because they come out of the closets with their own emotions them. and feelings and whatnot. And sometimes even us brave heroes need to come out the closet as well. I have come out of my emotional prohibited shell. It's not the same closet. That has, prohi has prohibited me from uh, expressing my emotions mm -hmm. in an understood wise choice of words. But I have learned to come out and express them in a good term as well but and especially when it can come from the especially when the emotions come from the heart and the body language it just depends on the how it is understood from that point or another what is Chris saying at this point <laughs> I could be lost but, track but uh, I'll cut to a chase not the chase, I respect a certain chase. my fellow man, it's fellow man. and uh, I w and I have some feelings for the man as well. The man. But uh, yeah, in a nutshell, I have to come out of the closet, and so oh. one closet. Optimus Prime represents masculinity. Oh, help me. Wait, wait, wait. God, please help me. God, please help me. And I feel that I am forced, forced to come out of. He's saying he's forced. Uh, so the real Sonic True fans will know that Chris is not being genuine in this video, based on several clues, uh, both visual and verbal. Simply put, and I am willing to say this, inside mind and body. Hmm. I am a Gabian. Yep, you heard me. What? <laughs> I am a gay Again. Pretty a male cool. lesbian. Oh, funny. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so that was take one. Uh, there was a quick mumble chat saying, uh, no, Chris, do it again. And here's take two. We're just Good evening. <laughs> I think exactly the same. You know, the uh, word gay in terms like coming out of the closet uh, gets thrown around a lot. Chris is being held at a... <clears throat> Metaphorical gunpoint. Anyway, over here. uh and also and also uh some of us have to be feel like we're being forced to supposedly what was that? come out of the club. Some of us have to be wait, 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 what? and also and also is that, uh is that the controller? Some of us have to be feel like we're being forced very big. Is that, is that to the supposedly come out of the closet. There? I thought it was little Chris. <clears throat> and also uh Excuse me, very some of, this also morning. sometimes the uh Actual words, like uh, I myself, actual words I have used, become misinterpreted. Chris, please stop fondling Optimus Prime. <laughs> and uh, it can be very infuriating. This is the second version of almost when, the exact uh, same video. <laughs> people misinterpret uh, things into It's just loud because it's so uh, close to the camera. 
But yeah, I'll uh, get to a point here. I'll get to the point. Uh, I am so like I'm being forced to uh, come out of a closet, even though I already came out of one closet. Another closet. <laughs> But by, by the way, in the background, I can hear my girlfriend watching this very stream <laughs> on her laptop. <clears throat> Emotionally, how, how where are you? I have learned to uh, put my emotions into a good sound assortment of words and uh, an honest input, and it's and and even though it really just pains me just a lot, to the point, man. Too. To say such th to say some things. Anyway, the uh, anyway, so to get to the point. It's gonna get to the point. Come fine. On. I'm good. I'm gay. I'm gay. He said it though. I think. I Eventually. Said it. Thanks for all the That's hellos, it. by the way. So there. I said it. Yep. I'm gay. <laughs> okay. Yep. So... Did I really come out of the closet there? It just depends on y'all, how y'all understand it. What do y'all think? Did Chris come out of the closet there? What do y'all understand about it? Peace. Mumble for skip. Where, where are we? Okay, how long has this been stream going? Oh, there's another, another vi vi <laughs> vibrator destruction video coming up. Uh, for any of y'all who are into vibrators, please look away. Hello. <laughs> y'all may, some of you may I'm just so confused. What just happened? <laughs> what just happened? Why, why, Chris started the stream. Chris started recording the video and just smacked something. <laughs> what had happened? Let me see that again. It was way too good. Hello, <laughs> y'all. May some of you may have seen the uh, video, which uh, which I've recently uploaded, uplo saying that I was uh, of the wrong. Orientation, hmm. but I, but I would I want to let you all know that I I did that to save the life of a trusted gal pal. He did, and she is eternally grateful from to me for it. So that so yes, this as panda? you can tell from my nonverbal clues, mm. I was lying I'm out of my, my ass. ass. But I did to save a lot to save her life because Clyde Cash. Would have harmed her, but I have gotten his word that uh, he would not lay a finger on her. And also, I I can't remember. Is this panda or is this blue spike? It's still panda, no. <laughs> so I had to make another slight promise. Uh, they called him gay. Another promise after making that after that that I uh, get rid of some of my unnecessary possessions. I want to let want to uh, let him know anyway that I've already started. Start. I destroyed this. Edit. Wait, was Chris instructed to clean up his room basically by Clyde Cash, right? Am I mis misremembering or not? And the first thing that Chris did was destroy the vibrator on camera and chris couldn't destroy it obviously it's made of fairly tough plastic i mean it's, it's not like a battery inside it's got a little engine you're not gonna snap it in half chris all that chris did was just <laughs> separate it where where uh where you put in the battery basically and that's oh shit it's broken now you can clean it dun 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 That deed is done. 
Hmm. I am straight. I am straight. It only and it took me the uh, one time where I actually had to say the word that I hated so much mm -hmm. for the first time in my life ever. Apparently, and Chris never used the word gay. I can I can see that. Chris usually says the word homo. And later, it took one man to uh, send me an email, let me know that he realized a nonverbal close, leading to like I was being forced to do that, and I had to lie up my ass. Y'all can uh, view the previously uploaded video in its originality and unaltered spec and an unaltered, unaltered okay, sense got, in my current uh, YouTube account. But I think I have proven myself well enough. We cannot confirm or deny that I was Chris used holding that on to my manhood, my straightness by having Optimus Prime on my lap, mm. and my Sailor Moon poster behind me that I look at every night to help keep me straight. Some might say this is a clue. Why does Chris have to uh, look at a Sailor Moon poster to keep from... <laughs> Ironically, looking at a Sailor Moon poster makes you less gay. <laughs> I was born straight, and I will never be changed that way. It's amazing how Chris goes back on everything that he's ever said in his life, eventually. Thank you. Hey, Jesus, how are you? Quick mumble, skip. Let's go. Uh, we've got one video. Maybe two more videos before I close up the stream. This question comes clean. Captain Slog. I can smell this carpet. Stardate, February 10th, 2009. The reason why I have feet, my Jesus. camera aimed down at my feet is because, in respect to a promise, what are you proving by, I am by tapping it with your feet? I'm showing off the uh, cleanliness of my room, which I have just cleaned up. For example, there's uh, more walking space. Look right here, there's definitely space between that and the bed. And you look over here. More walking space to the door. Plenty of space there. Hmm. I mean, <clears throat> Barb aside, Chris was actually fairly well organized. Chris did, does, did, did own lots of items, but Chris organized them fairly well, I guess. You know, instead of just piling them on top of each other like Barb. So, I mean, this, that just comes with autism, no? You kind of uh, tend to be more well organized, more uh, focused on routines and... Uh, I guess more OCD about some some things, but yeah, Chris's room is like the cleanest in the house, the neatest. Chris isn't necessarily clean. It's probably very dusty, very grimy, and filthy, but it's well organized, fairly well organized. And I got that tub off the uh, top of my couch. Tub. So I don't fall down and hit anyone. Tub. <laughs> I had to leave the stuff, other stuff, up there. But at least I didn't have to compromise much. I put the clutter I had and stuff into bags like these and put them in my bathroom closet. I got these bags for like a dime each when they were on clearance at my local Walmart. Mm. But also, uh, after talking about that, I uh, love like this London, angle too. And, uh, <sighs> Clyde, now that I've kept my promise, I need to go back to the. And, uh, also, uh, after talking about that and making uh, Clyde know that I've kept my promise, and of course, this is the uh, this is the couch where Chris hid upon hearing that voicemail left left by someone claiming to be Clyde Cash, where they threatened to like kill Chris in the night, and then Chris um, uh, pooped in the bed. And then Chris hid in on this couch, covered by a pile of all those stuffed toys, I imagine. That it one night. Been well, Julie. It been well. Any Germans in the audience, any Austrians in the audience, I imagine, as well, um, you, you may laugh away. Anyway, uh, second update. I have received in the mail today a letter from Nintendo of America. Amazing. In response 
to the piece I sent in the snail mail. Snail mail. It comes from Mike Chandler over there. No, no relation. relation. At least as far as I know. It's amazing that a Chandler responded. <laughs> anyway, it has it has taught it has proven my my family and my congregations as well as my own theories. I shall read it to you from beginning to end. It says here, dear Christian, thank you. <laughs> Some people already, a couple of people mentioned rule of thirds. It's actually using real filament technique is good rule of thirds demonstration. <laughs> hey, Knights, Night Runner, how are you? For your recent letter, I appreciate having this opportunity to be of assistance. Mr. Shiguro Miyamoto. It's written right there. Anyway. Did not have a meeting scheduled with you. Nor has he, has he been corresponding with you. Mr. Miyamoto speaks and writes only very limited English. Mm. And our game development teams do not accept unsolicited game suggestions or ideas. Although Mr. Miyamoto makes occasional business trips to the U.S., he spends the majority of his time in Japan <laughs> at Nintendo's headquarters. Of course, because Chris can't pronounce German things properly, obviously. <laughs> Chris, way back, wait. <clears throat> While when talking to Julie, he either said, I am gay or I am swollen. <laughs> so whichever you want. Uh, either way, it's not, I love you. Thanks again for writing, Christian. I hope this information is helpful and that you continue to enjoy it's Nintendo products. Sincerely, Nintendo, wait, wait. this information is helpful and that you I, I hope this information isn't helpful. Continue to enjoy Nintendo Damn, products. Mike. Sincerely, Nintendo of America, Inc., Mike Chandler, Consumer Service Representative. So, I was never in correspondence with Mr. Miyamoto or Reggie Phil. I'm pretty sure we actually missed a video. This playlist is missing a video of, uh, of, of Chris saying that he flew to Redmond. I made it Damn. I actually missed they the video in this, in, this, in this playlist. I had I had I thought as I thought as much. So there it there it was. Black, Black and, and white. white. From Nintendo of America. And that, that, pretty, that pretty much uh, is it for now on the update. So uh, for now, I bid y'all a very pleasant day. Peace. Peace. Mumble six. No. Hey, Chris. Okay, we've got Mumbles, got Julie's, and uh, let's just let's just finish up today with quick shout out to Sarah May. So this was I I believe during a Mumble chat, uh, Sarah May joined, and Chris confessed his love for Julie, even though Sarah May was in the chat and he was kind of trying to hook up with Sarah as well. Uh, Sarah was hurt by this. She, th she, um, <clears throat> um, for anyone who's uncomfortable with this trigger warning, uh, Sarah may apparently submitted suicide, and now Chris is doing a shout out. <laughs> this is this is this is the C Chan six seven eight nine channel. This is the actual Christian video from 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 Chris's channel, and um, Chris is doing a shout out for. <laughs> Wait. This message is for Sarah May. Sarah, I feel terrible about what about the about the big mistake I made in that in our conversation. I hope you don't do anything stupid. I pray you're still alive and well. Because if you you if you commit suicide or hurt yourself because of my actions, I just I feel terrible. Sarah, I care about you very much. Please be alive. I care about you as a friend. Damn. Friend zoned. <laughs> Damn. Also, also, Chris offered 23 locks of his hair um, to convince Sarah not to um, kill herself. And of course, lots of people are saying that this is fake crying. 
uh, I'm not sure if we've ever seen genuine tears coming from Chris. Possibly the only instance is when Jessica Quinn broke up with Christine and then she was crying on the bed and she made a seven second long video and you could kind of see tears in her eyes back then, definitely. So. And you are a sweet friend. You are women. You are the sweetest, um, a sweetest among my sweetest friends. True, sweetie. I have made my lifetime. I'd... I just cry I lost you. <laughs> Let me know that you're still alive. Hello to America, send Mr. You, Marks. Send in our application to rejoin the Science You Cross Forum. If you reply, if you reply and mention that, I know, you, I know you're still alive, and hopefully we can put that on this behind us. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get to talk to you again soon. I love you, sir, May. I love you as with my friend. Damn. Captain's log, star date, February. Oh, it's gonna be a good one next next time. So we're gonna stop it right about there. So next time we're gonna pick up uh, with this video, Christian on homosexuals. Um, quick comes for a cat. We're gonna skip that, obviously. And um, um, damn, we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're, Bob walks in. We're we're gonna. This is all just mumbles, really. So we're gonna skip a lot of them, definitely. So let's head back over here, and let's close up the stream for now. Hey, I'm back on the big screen. Let me see, May. Love you as a true friend. How did you how did you do that? Thank you for the stream and all the dang content. Thank you, Lord Snark. <laughs> Bob walks in. Unfortunately, we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna listen to Chris um, enjoy himself with a thirteen year old boy. Okay, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're not gonna do that explicitly here. So we're not going to do that. We're going to skip it next time. So anyway, so that was the stream for today. I uh, got a solid hour in. It's my uh, streaming schedule, basically about an hour and 10 minutes per day. So if you're interested in more quick, more quick content, uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm pretty sure like 60% of my viewership is not subscribed. So, But I, I imagine if you're watching this stream, you're most probably subscribed. So please check out um, part 63, which will be up around three weeks from now. Uh, if you want to see some sneaky, cheeky updates regarding this project and my other projects, music and other docs as well, please check out my Patreon. Uh, links in the description below. Sorry, Kugel. Uh, it, is that Peter Gabriel poster? It is, of course, Melt by Peter Gabriel. I don't know Cardiacs, Austin. If you're not subscribed, you're <clears throat> coming down from my trip. Love you, Gino. Thank you. So yes, the documentary channel Gino Samuel 3 will feature more documentaries that are not about Chris Chan, including lots of yokai stuff, which are Japanese monsters of myth, myth and folklore, possibly a couple more before the, the big epic Antarctica doc. So if you're interested in anything that I do, which is not related to Chris Chan, please check out Gino Samuel 3 on YouTube. Link is in the description below. Please subscribe, hit the bell button, and wait for any new updates, which will be a little bit while from now. Not not tomorrow or anything like that. Still a while away. And if you're interested in music that I make, I got the music channel link also in the description below. Gino Samuel. Is there a Gino Samuel Discord? ETF for Antarctica? About two months, hopefully. Uh, is that some Electrolyzed orchestra stuff on your wall? It is, actually. This is a poster from, from Discovery, I believe, from the Discovery LP, which I have. Play Neo got me interested in yokai videos. Oh, that's cool. So yes, I do music as well. Like, the music that you're hearing right now is my own work, which is going to be from the soundtrack for the Antarctica dock. And I'm not planning on doing any other lolcows, unfortunately. 
whatever happened with, with that Gigi Allen doc, it's not the, not the time yet. I imagine it's going to be going up after I finish the first comprehensive history. I can only work on one comprehensive history at one time. <laughs> and I don't play any video games, if you're asking. So I don't do super chats as well. Um, I, I have the records, yeah. I have records. Oxidize? That's a good song. I like it. Thank you for liking it too. How's the plagiarism thing going? It's private. Sorry I ever mentioned it. <laughs> There's an ice wall. <sighs> Music is super chill. Thank you, thank you. So yes, th this is about it from me. Up until next time, I believe I'm going to do one more quick, s quick chill stream. Number four. Uh, in about two weeks from now. And the week afterwards is part 63. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, until I see you again. Hope you have a nice day. Nice evening, nice night, nice uh, nice rest of the month, nice rest of the year, if it's the last time I see you for another year. <laughs> Looking forward to the Arctic Base documentary because I really enjoyed the thing and find it setting fascinating. It is a fascinating thing, definitely. I'm going to release the Antarctica soundtrack in album form. I will release it on Bandcamp at least, which will be like a five hour long thing. Uh, yeah, so you can listen to it on Bandcamp, I, I believe. I'm not going to put it on Spotify or anything like that. I don't think it's worth it personally. But anyway, do another plastic love cover. <laughs> One's not enough. <laughs> hey, lots of familiar faces here. So thanks for all for all, for all of you are joining here. Thank you for all your nice words and for joining in on the chat. Thanks again. I keep saying thanks. D d doesn't hurt to say th thanks again. Happy Golden Week. Oh, thank you. Got a Golden Week coming up. Okay. Morning in Switzerland. Good night. <laughs> Good night to Switzerland. Is there a Discord? The Discord is very secret. Please don't ask for links. Vinyl. Maybe later. Thanks again. Bye 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 bye. Music died. Perfect. Bye 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 bye. Thanks again. Bye 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 bye. Stay safe.